exponential times, we're marketing in exponential times, and that has changed everything. When you think about that stat, that more information was generated in the last year than in the entire history of civilization prior to that, it's staggering. And the impact that this has had on marketing is equally staggering, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So here's a stat if you haven't seen it. It's worth repeating. Over the past 30 years, the average American has gone from seeing about 500 branded messages a day, and 30 years, so we're not talking, you know, a century ago, we're talking the 70s, when TV and even cable was prevalent. People were seeing about 500 branded messages a day, they're now seeing about 5,000. That has gone up by about 1,000 in the last year. That is expected in the next three years to double. So when consumers are so bombarded, and that's the term about two-thirds of them use to describe the way they feel about marketing today, what do you do in this new landscape? Uh, a few other interesting stats that I'll throw at you. 70% of consumers say that their computer is their main entertainment device. Now, if you reduce that data set to people under the age of 30, about one in three say it's their phone that they get more entertainment from their phone than any other device they own. Um, now, of course, with the iPhone being the most popular selling phone in America, that explains a little bit of that. Um, over 70% of consumers who have DVRs skip commercials. That's been a constant since DVRs came out. The issue now is more than half of American households own and use DVRs. They watch TV through a DVR interface. Um, banner ad and direct mail response is down more than 90% in the past decade. Um, so the things that have been working for us in the past, and I come from a direct marketing background, uh, they just don't work the way they used to. And it's not that they don't have a place, they're just not the engine anymore, they're, they're components.